Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hands Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. The Nevada Attorney General's Office is asking the Nevada Supreme Court to prevent two district court judges from being kicked out of their courthouses in Nye County. Review Journal's Jen Ah has these details. The AG's office says Nye County commissioners hope to punish the judges by relocating their courtrooms to aging facilities. Judges Kim Waker and Robert Lane refused to follow a county order allowing people to carry guns in most areas of the courthouses, expressing safety concerns. In 2006, a man killed his wife then shot a judge in Reno. In 2010, a gunman shot a court security officer in Las Vegas. You know, a lot of experts I talked to said this isn't really recommended, that in these court proceedings you have very hostile, uh, confrontational legal battles. Uh, these district court judges in Nye County don't just deal with exclusively civil or criminal proceedings. They deal with everything, family court, lawsuits. On the flip side, commissioners say citizens should have the ability to protect themselves in public spaces, noting judges and bailiffs can carry weapons, but not the public. You know, it's a Second Amendment battle that uh, is ultimately appears to going to be decided by the Nevada Supreme Court. The Nye County DA could not be reached for comment. And be on the lookout for waterways patrols in Henderson neighborhoods on Sunday. The City of Henderson, Las Vegas Valley Water District, and the City of North Las Vegas are joining forces for the first time. Customers in violation of the seasonal watering restrictions may be subject to fines of up to $2,500. The man responsible for the deadly church shooting in Laguna Woods is scheduled to appear in court today. Review Journal's James Schaefer is live with the story. Renee, we're in Laguna Woods, California, where less than a month ago, Las Vegas local David Chu was arrested following a shooting at the Taiwanese Presbyterian Church behind me. Chu is expected to appear at a hearing at the California Superior Court later today. A shooting fueled by political tensions between China and Taiwan. That reason being provided by the Orange County Sheriff for 68-year-old shooting suspect David Chu. Investigators believe Chu drove from Las Vegas to Laguna Woods the day before the shooting. Investigators are still trying to determine why Chu chose this Southern California congregation. Prosecutors filed 10 charges against Chu, including five counts of premeditated murder. If convicted on those charges, Chu could face the death penalty. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Now it's time for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. The excessive heat continues for your Friday. Highs today are expected to hit around 110 degrees with breezy conditions coming from the southwest at about 20 miles per hour in parts of the valley. Tonight evening lows also very warm at around 85 degrees. For the rest of the week, we will remain in the excessive heat warning with temps staying in the 110 range until Saturday. Breezy conditions will also remain. 25 miles per hour is projected for Saturday into Sunday. Temperatures will drop to the upper 90s to start your work week. And after a second child died of a drowning incident in the valley, the Henderson Professional Fire Department is urging parents to be proactive when it comes to pool safety. Things like door alarms, safety pool fencing, and pool coverings are just some of the ways to be water safe in the summer months along with the three Ps. Patrolling, protecting, and preparing. Making sure you always have an adult who is accountable and present to watch children. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Help of Southern Nevada is teaming up with GovPlant to give away much-needed baby formula to local families during a critical time. Cans of powdered infant formula and other supplies will be offered at a drive through event tomorrow from 8 a.m. to noon at Parkdale Recreation Center. The first 800 customers with children from 0 to 3 years old are eligible, but there are requirements, including proof of birth. Sports, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Raiders safety Trayvon Merrick thrived as a rookie, starting all 17 games last season, playing every defensive snap and logging 55 tackles and an interception. After stabilizing the defense last season, he's looking to continue to grow this year. No, I'm just hungry to, you know, like you said, get better, um, start this season and just continue to grow with the team, continue to practice at a high level. 
your business news sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. The new airline Breeze Airways operated its first flight out of Las Vegas yesterday. The launch included showgirls welcoming passengers on the tarmac. The ultra low fares airline announced it would offer flights to an 11th city from Las Vegas starting in October. The airline plans to double its fleet this year, all with one objective. Our goal is to get you there for twice as fast for half the price. And if, if you can do that, then you just come more often. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Celtics are four-point favorites over the Golden State Warriors at Silver Sports in Game 4 of the NBA Finals on Friday in Boston. The total is 215 and a half. After taking a 2-1 lead in the series with a victory in Game 3, the Celtics are minus 225 favorites to win the series, while Golden State is plus 195. In the exact number of games prop, Boston is a plus 195 favorite to win in six games. Golden State is a plus 320 favorite to win the series in seven. In your entertainment news, a little bit of Britain lands in Vegas. What are you doing tonight? No one. I'm watching you, love. Former Mirage headliner Matt Goss was spotted hanging out with boy George after his performance at the Encore. Backstage, George teased that potentially returning with Goss aiming to land on the strip again soon. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Visit Laughlin, an easygoing getaway filled with good food, good people, and good times on the river, a new charter school will open in time for the upcoming school year. Cactus Park Elementary School will be open to students from preschool through fourth grade. According to directors, this school will take a different approach with diverse curriculum, a focus on social identity education, and even a school farm. The biggest thing is that it'll actually be used as um, kind of something for students to relieve themselves of if they may be going through something traumatic, um, they have a little bit of stress build up. Those interested in registering their children, you can visit pilotednevada.org. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search for View Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.